I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Hey you guys so today I am going to show you how to import Photoshop brushes into Adobe Sketch. The brushes that I feel works best will be sand brushes. Um, you might get away with the hair brushes depending on how they look. But usually it will have like a blunt cut off edge. Um, I'm going to just show you what I mean as I get into Adobe Sketch. So the first thing you want to do is go to your Safari, you know, your web browser. Um type in in google like free um photoshop brushes um you could also go to deviantart.com i'm probably butchering that name but y'all know what i mean <laughs> so in the search bar that's going to be like right here you could just basically literally click like type literally type photoshop brushes and stuff like that so let me just go back so you could just scroll and see which ones you will like they have plenty of brushes on here majority is free the vast majority is free Excuse me if I'm not pronouncing my words correctly. I have a freaking tongue piercing. And I be trying to, like, stop my tongue piercing from clicking on my teeth. Because y'all will really hear that a whole lot. So, I'm over here, like, messing up the pronunciations of so many words and so many sounds. So, just excuse me, y'all. Um, yeah, just look for whatever you want to download. I really honestly feel like sand brushes will work best for this. I'm going to show you guys some examples with hair brushes and everything, too. But, um, here, yeah, let's just download this one. You would just click on the one that you see. And usually in the description box, it don't have the link. Sometimes it do, depending on wherever they're going to have their, their thing downloaded from. But if you go to the right-hand side, you will see the download button right here. Usually above, like, any other photos that the creator of the brush has or somebody else within the... On the website so you just press the download button um and then it says open in adobe sketch usually it's this easy but sometimes you might have to unzip it or you might have to open it up in another app and do this extra stuff just to get the brush in um adobe sketch so one thing i will recommend that will save you a whole lot of time right back at the download button just make sure it says abr download because that will bring you exactly to adobe sketch you won't have to go to another app and do all these extra steps and everything so let's open up an adobe sketch so once you open it up it's going to automatically start downloading the brushes that you have downloaded um well importing the brushes that you have downloaded so once it's complete you just press it done this is just showing you steps of how to access those brushes so done this is just a, a photo I was working on in Procreate. I just transported it over here so I can show you guys an example of different brushes that they have. That's curly hair brushes or whatever. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So what you want to do is long press on the brush. is usually the first icon. And the ones that's going to pop up is the ones that you have recently downloaded. Recently have downloaded. Once again, the ones that you have recently downloaded. So click any brush. Get a new layer. Um, and then just stamp it. This is what I mean by the stamp brushes will work best because if you have like, okay, I'm going to show you an example with a hairbrush, but once again, these are the stamp brushes. Then you just long press again to change it. So we're going to long press, get another one. You can increase the size, make it bigger. So the good quality ones will come with like, it won't be blurry or whatever. So. Let's try a different brush, like that's like a hairbrush or something like that. So, um, I'm going to show you an example. Oh, let me show you another one. Dripping liquid brushes. Let me just show you an example with this one. As you can see, stand brushes work best. And then you know how to like transform the layer and everything. So, get a new layer. I'm going to show you an example of what I mean by when you input import hairbrushes. Sometimes it looks all... Uh, <laughs> um, can't remember which one is this one. Oh, so this is like a hairbrush too. But as you can see, it's working better as a stamp because in Photoshop, it's easier. Like I don't know, Photoshop. I don't know how to work Photoshop. I'm not gonna be saying guess on what the hell to do in Photoshop. But um, uh, let's try another hairbrush that could show you exactly what I was. Okay, this one. 
Is it this one? Okay, so you see how this is like a stamp one too? The stamp ones will work best. You can't add it like that. It looks stupid. <laughs> um, let's add a new layer. I'm trying to show you guys the brushes that I was talking about. Is it this? It's like I'm, I downloaded so many just to see. No, it's not that. Uh, let's see. Is this, is it this one? No. Where the hell is these brushes at? I downloaded my brushes so I could show you guys an example of what I was talking about as far as they having like a blunt. Uh, okay, these right here. So, as you guys can see, when you want to sit here and actually create strokes with this brush, you see how it's like a blunt cut off, like literally blunt. Like, who can sit here and work with that? I mean, you can't. You, you will really have to sit here and play around with the settings, but I don't feel like there's a setting that will allow you to change the bluntness of it, like, to make it, like, that th thin end. <laughs> thin end. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, yeah. I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't feel like there's a brush that will allow you to do that. I feel like it's just going to still be the texture of the Photoshop um template so that's why i feel like it's best for you to just sit here and stick with stamp brushes or even curly hair brushes because you can really get away with curly hair brushes you cannot get away with a lot of things when it comes to um straight hair brushes so let me show you one that i have downloaded that i actually like i also have this in procreate believe it or not i haven't used it because i'm still trying to figure out how to like mess with the settings to make it like the perfect brush for procreate that I'm not going to be reselling because it's not my brush. <laughs> Little disclaimer right there. It's going to be for personal use only. <laughs> so I'm going to show you this curly hair brush that I have downloaded. For some reason, the download link is not working anymore. So I'm not even sure where you, people can access that brush. So let's go back to Adobe Sketch. Let's go to that curly hair brush right here. I think I was playing around with this one. Yeah, so one thing you could do, you could also come over here, change the settings and everything, the opacity, um, the scatter, stuff like that. The main settings that you want to play around with is tip settings. You won't want, you won't want to keep the tip angle at a zero, round is at a hundred. Spacing, you could sit here and play around with spacing depending on the type of brush that you have. So curly hair brushes, you could always get away with curly hair brushes because like curly hair is not perfect in any shape or form. When it comes to straight hair, yeah, that's a whole different story. So. Let's see what I could do with this brush, you guys. So that's too big. <laughs> let's lower this down some. I'm still too big. Uh, let's try. It's too small. So we're like, you see how this is like, what am I doing, you guys? I'm like making a freaking mess. Let me get another layer, okay? Because her eyes, I didn't feel in her eyes and procreate, so <laughs> it looks weird. You see what I mean by you could get away with curly hair and a Zoe sketch? This is actually like a stamp. It's like, it comes in different, like, opacities and stuff. So, curly hair, you could honestly get away with it, honey. The bigger the hair, the harder they stare. You feel me? <laughs> and then come back to the top layer let's see what I could do here cast some around her face go smaller around her forehead just like say as if like the hair is like on her forehead you know just play around with the brushes that's why I honestly feel like curly hair you could get away with so much of it course i'm not gonna leave it looking like this i don't know what the fuck i'm doing <laughs> so yeah just play around with the brush once again i always feel like curly hair you could get away with it so curly hair will be curly hair will work way better than straight hair brushes because it's not gonna have that blunt cut off and you can always go over it multiple times to 
you know, give the, the illusion as it's just only one brush with no problems or anything. She's looking like somebody from the damn 80s, the 70s, the 60s, the 90s, whatever, <laughs> with this damn jury curl looking fro. <laughs> so that's basically all I want to show you guys how to import Photoshop brushes into Adobe Sketch. Once again, I just want to point out that it is best for you to use stamp brushes. My table's squeaking. So yeah. Once again, it's best for you to use stamp brushes rather than hair brushes because it kind of looks kind of weird. It looks kind of, huh. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't want those. You don't, you don't want those. What is this? I don't even know how to brush. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at Simone Alicia underscore. My goal there is 1K. Um, like a little bit underneath 800. So I'm almost there. If you want to collab with me on Instagram, just shoot me a DM. Yeah, it's Simone Alicia underscore. My bad. I be sometimes forgetting the underscore. It is like, I don't know what time it is right now. I'm over here recording this video. <laughs> so, yeah, I got y'all all on the flip side. Peace.